Hello and welcome everyone. I want to say again thank you for those who have joined the Nidanoski team through liking, uh, subscribing, and commenting on the previous channels. Your support has been quite welcome and appreciated. Speaking of that support, we have gotten an uptick of players who want us to switch back and forth. So much so that I'm going to change plans a little and we're going to come back to Citizens of Earth. But for now, let's play... Citizens of Space! All right, and it looks like when we switch, we are now receiving the loading screen from Citizens of Space. This should be familiar to many of you. Ah, I'm finally here. The Galactic Federation. <laughs> oh, smell that sweet interplanetary diplomacy. I didn't... I didn't realize how much I missed the Ambassador of Earth, but... I've waited for this moment oh. my whole life. This is my chance to make a name for myself. To put my charisma and rugged charm to the ultimate test. The chance to represent Earth on the biggest stage of all. The chance to... Ye be forgetting the chance to pay your fare. Quite right. That would be 75 pieces of eight, chap. Ah! 75! 75! Ah! Don't you mean galactic credits? Besides, I thought ambassadors rode free. Aye? And what planet be ye representing, matey? Do you mean to imply you're the ambassador from Earth? Ah! You? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you must forgive me for that. I try to control it. I truly do. Well, I'm technically not the ambassador yet. I'm here for my swearing-in ceremony. Hmm. If ye haven't been inducted, ye pay your fare like all the other build rats. Hand over the booty. Aye, aye, Captain. Now off with ye. I have hoop decks to be swabbing. Right. As I was saying, this is my big break. Finally, I'll be... There you are, sir. Ah, my first fan. Are you from Earth, too, little buddy? I... well... I am, but... <gasps> and you came all this way for my swearing-in. This'll be the largest inauguration crowd since... well, since ever. I'm touched. Sir. Please, there's no need for formalities. Just call me. Sir, I am not your fan. Then, what are you doing here? I'm your new assistant. Uh, well, an assistant's just a fan who gets paid, <laughs> so I was basically right. Moving on. Yes, yes you are. You have a yes, very busy are. day ahead of you, sir. But of course. I'm sure the assembly is eagerly awaiting my inaugural address. I'm not sure eager is the right word. They slotted it in during one of their scheduled bathroom breaks. Wonderful! Bathrooms are known for their acoustics after all. Oh, you'll love this. There was this one time I was rehearsing a speech in the shower for my rubber ducky entourage. <laughs> when suddenly... You know, that reminds me, we're going to get some new citizens that are from the same universe. And I say this because if you know this phrase, Quack attack! Then you may be looking forward to a very special upgraded citizen um i'd love to stick around and listen to your bathroom stories sir but i should really go get everything ready for your address by the way i picked up your ambassador id badge for you if you could just sign here all right and we are indeed the ambassador of earth am i happy with the name ambassador Seriously, that's your name <laughs> I think I'll just stick to calling you sir. I would laugh if someone named him sir, just for this moment. Anyway, feel free to explore the station if you want, and come to the assembly when you're in the mood to orate. I've got this. Hello, sir. Please present your identification. Why, I'm the ambassador of Earth. Hmm. I am unfamiliar with this Earth you speak of. How can that be? And besides, it's called Earth. It's a wonderful planet, full of wonder. Yes, yes. Of course it is, sir. Please hold while I peruse your identification. <sighs> I'm sorry, but I don't know this Earth's 
Please proceed to the assembly for further examination. All Leave right. it to me! Let's go Until ahead and head up time. old familiar roads. I am debating whether or not to stop in on all our are. old friends. Uh, hello, and welcome to the Galactic Federation. Where are you trying to go, sir? Let's say the lab. The laboratory. My, yes. That's simple. Just head down either stairway to the south and you will arrive at the lab. We have some brilliant workers. More minds at work here. The teacher, chemist, and geneticist are all valuable assets to the Galactic Federation. Feel free to ask for further directions if you lose your way again. Have a nice day, sir. <laughs> mm. Where to next? Now look. Okay, and that'll be down to the lab, I think. We used to be able to run, and I can't remember who let us run. I can't run. Uh, I, we can speed up as the citizen of Earth. How are we gonna mix people? And is the summons tab bigger than it was? I do not know, but let's go ahead start our save file. An ambassador never forgets to save. Oh, yes. The doctor is out. She's off on some disease ridden planet. Let's go meet the hacker. I think the hacker is here during night. Oh no, the hacker is even fr well. You? Yes. Are the one. I am. The one. One zero one one zero zero. I. He's speaking in binary, sir. One zero one. Well, how long is it going to take him to finish? Oh, it could be a while. <laughs> okay then. You're taking notes, right? I can't wait to know what he thinks of me. What would you like to access? I'm sorry. I sense a disturbance in the cyberspace on Abora Prime. Leave it to me! Alright, so we'll head back there then. Oh, and here is an item. Ooh, what's Adrenaline! This? I'm sorry. The office is cur not currently open for visitors. Please have a Galactico great day. Alright! Let's continue! Yes! I am getting back into this voice. If this voice annoys you, I am deeply sorry that you must be annoyed. Or leave. Please don't leave. <laughs> Let's continue this way. Oh, hold on. I see. Okay. I may end up going back to some of my old recruit videos if I forget anyone. Oh, and there's the barista. Oh. Do I need to refill the creamer? How can I serve you today? I'm programmed for maximum customer satisfaction. It would be my pleasure to join you. Great. Shall we go? Grab some coffee for the road, too. Oh, you misunderstand. It would be my pleasure to join you, but I can't. My shift isn't over yet. What a shame. Now, about those coffees he mentioned. Hold on now. When is your shift over, coffee friend? Hard to say. I haven't clocked out since I was built. That sounds like a worker's rights violation. Who is your ambassador? Oh, I don't have an ambassador. Or rights, for that matter. The Moonbucks Robot Employee Agreement is airtight. <laughs> they embedded a special clause into the contract. It's a loophole to cut unnecessary expenditures. So they don't have to give me breaks, or vacation, or overtime, or safety gear, or finite shifts. But if I manage to create a new flavor of coffee, they'll release me from work indefinitely. 
All you have to do is make a new flavor. Ha! <laughs> Easy! If I pull enough levers, it'll make something new! I remember in this one, the barista was one of, was a late recruit. I'm sure it has to be edible, sir. They want to add something new to the menu, not rehash the same old sh- Hey? Ship delivered coffee beans. What did you think I was going to say? He's right. Only the best beans will do. And I know exactly what we need to make. Uh, I've never heard of it. It was only Earth's most famous coffee, but the recipe was lost to the ages. If I bring it back, I'll get to go free. Will you help me recreate Earth? Yes, yes, we will. Hmm, the Angry Duck Gang has been smuggling rare beans. I wouldn't be surprised if Quack McCool's boys got their bills on it. Oh, this isn't the ambassador. <gasps> you, you'll have to sneak into their warehouse and search the crates. <laughs> Good luck, great bucks. I'm on the job. Oh. Do I need to re How can I serve you? Let's go ahead and move on. Rise and shine. Now we'll want to talk to a number of people. Shining. I forget why, but someone is going to be recruitable. Shiny. We picked up a legal document. Let's head on in here. Oh, yes. The chef. What would you like to order? I would like to order you. I'm so sorry, my friend. Until we've eaten a meal together, I cannot go with you. When you are ready to ingest and then digest, I invite you all to be my guest. I've got this. Now, there was a glitch when recruiting the chef that you would endlessly fight something. But for now... Let's... Is it the post office next? Yes, I believe it is. Fed ups. You can see there's a lot of connections between this the first game and Andy. the second. Welcome to Fed Up Galactic. We'll ship your stuff by stuffing it in our ships and get it where it needs to go. Hey, I used to use the Fed Ups on Earth. They had a branch in my hometown. Oh, yes. Well, Fed Ups, along with Moonbucks, began as an Earth-based corporation, but has flourished in the age of galactic expansion. Hence, our new branding, Fed Ups Galactic. The galaxy's a big place, but don't get fed up with it. Just get Fed Ups to deal with it. Ooh, you guys have catchy slogans. I can see why your business is doing so well. What do you have for me? Hey, mister, I'm really busy right now. Can you come back another time? Oh, my apologies, miss. Carry on. Actually, wait. I hate to ask, but do you think you could lend a girl a hand? Naturally. What is an ambassador for, if not to help out strangers with random tasks? Seriously, does anyone know? I'm still new to the <laughs> job. Great! I have a package here in desperate need of delivering. Could you take care of it for me? Why, yes! Fantastic! You're such a super guy. All right, the recipient and destination are all written down there. I'll add it to your agenda, sir, in case you need a reminder. Thank you, assistant. Oh, for me, I've got this. All right, let's keep going. Uh, now, there should be a pizza place. No, we're not going to do the pizza place just yet. We have the sweets factory. And the reporter will be here, won't she? Yes, I'm right. What scoop are you interested in? No offense, but you're a bit too small time for me. I'm trying to report on the latest, greatest, most breakingest news stories. And you don't seem to be generating a lot of buzz. Maybe if you were to get super rank on a lot of battle mini games. Say, 15? That would definitely give me something to report on. I've got now, this. If, unless they've changed it, it's 15 different minigames, not gain Super Rank 15 times playing minigames. So, that's just something to keep in hello, mind. Hello, hello, hello! Wow, you're so excited to meet me. I'm flattered. Yes, it's a real treat. Speaking of treats, would you like a treat? Oh, I don't know. They do look tempting. But an ambassador like myself mustn't indulge too much. Ha ha! Fleshy humans are so silly. Always worrying about calories. Won't you try one? I'd love to. Thank you, miss. You're welcome, sugar. I have more here. Eat, eat. Uh, 
No, I, I, I couldn't. That's too generous of you. What? You think you're too good for my confections? I slept all day over an oven to make these. Granted, the oven is my body. But it was still hard work. Well, when you put it that way, I'd be delighted to. How sweet. The prices are all listed there. Let me know what you want. Oh, I thought you were just offering them for free. What kind of business do you think I'm running here? I'll pay, I'll pay. Thank you, sweetie. Please select your desired method of sugar intake. How can I sweeten your day? Oh, that sounds so sweet, but I could use your help first. Mm. One of the most important things about treats is getting people to try them. Otherwise, you don't know how good yes. they are. So I'll tell you what. Take a few of my creations and try them out for me, okay? <laughs> And you'd better like him, or else! I've got this. Okay. So, get ready for a sugar rush. We'll need to use a sugar pop, a choco cookie, and a crush cake. But it won't end there, so we're going to go ahead and pause it for now. Well, not pause the game, but pause getting that mission. Uh, and I believe we're going to come down here for the pizza place. Yes, and to recruit him, we're going to need to get various pizza right, delivery right, runs I'm within going. a certain amount of Where's time. Where's this one off to? Oh, you ain't the boss. Who are you, anyhow? I'm none other than the ambassador of Earth. Ah, no kidding. Earth? You know it? Know it? I love it. The home of the Hawaiian pizza, right? Right. No idea where that name came from, though. Pineapple on pizza. Even a machine can appreciate that magic. What'll it be, pal? All right, let's start our recruit. That's a nice offer and all, but I'm programmed for one thing only, delivering these here pies. If I didn't have pizzas to deliver, I don't know what I'd do. Well, that's easy, my pizza pie pal. You'd have the freedom to come with us. I know I'm a robot and all, built with logic and reason and all that, but don't try to confuse me with your simple, easy-to-follow mind games, all right? This job ain't so easy, you know? It's not just about delivering pizzas. It's about doing it with panache and pizzazz and making sure they're piping hot. Matter of fact, I got orders coming in from all over the galaxy. But I don't think my little ship's got what it takes to deliver them all. You get them where they're going, and you do it without the pizzas cooling down, then we'll talk. Right on! All right, this next or this one's nice and easy for you, but one of them gray guys ordered a piping hot pie and he's waiting outside the assembly. Get it? Oh, for me? Leave All it right. to me. So he's waiting right outside the assembly. We're gonna Good go ahead evening, galaxy. and move it now. Just because we're completing this does not mean that we're going to be able to recruit him. Rather, what it means is that we are going to, oh, interesting we are going to complete a series of this mission and when we've completed them all only then can we recruit them uh, they, they've really did quite a few was it you no ah oh, there we go they really did quite a few multi-stage recruitments, and I do appreciate that. Oh, joy. A warm, gooey pizza. The only thing that gives my bland, monotonous life any flavor. Wait, there's more? All right. Let's see. I thought the banker was here for some reason. I am incorrect. A good ambassador knows when to say he's incorrect, and that is me. Now. Rather than going back and talking to the pizza man, because I know we won't be able to do much, let's go on and head forward. Save this one for the scrapbook. Okay. Now... He's actually to the right, or where we need to go to the right. I just believe... Oh, yes, the janitor. What's that? So much dirt, so much grime, sweeping, mopping all the time. Mm. 
I love it. Sorry to interrupt, my hard-working friend, but it looks like you missed a spot. Oh, no. I'm saving that spot for later. That'll be a fun one to clean up. Here. Are you in charge of custodial work for this area, then? Mm, not officially. So you've taken it upon yourself to clean up this area. What a commendable civic undertaking. Oh, no. Not just this area. I wander about cleaning everything I can. <laughs> it's so much fun. Now, if you'll excuse me, I noticed some dust has accumulated while we were talking. I don't want to miss a second of the action. <laughs> oh, are you sure you want me to come with you? I like cleaning up messes, not causing them. That's a fair point, sir. Oh, well, sure. I admit I've accidentally fallen into a mess or two through no fault of my own. I'll tell you what. If you can prove that you love to clean up messes, I'll come with you. Have you seen those shiny bits all over the place? Oh, sure. It's fun collecting those. I never know what I'll get. Yeah, that's the spirit. Collect enough of those and I'll believe you're a true cleaner. I've got this. All right, 200 shiny bits. And we're not going to be... Oh, we've done six. Ah, oh, yes. You Shiny. seem to be a nice enough fellow. Definitely not someone that I should be concerned with. I am sorry, but I've got no time for interruptions. If this project proposal isn't perfect, I can kiss the license for my next resort. Bon voyage. He is hoping that your next resort isn't your last. I'm overdue for a little ambassadorial honor myself. Why, yes, of course. You certainly should come to Tropical and pay us a visit, Mr. Ambassador. We have all the amenities you could imagine, and some you've yet to dream of. Ahem. <clears throat> For the right price, of course. Oh? So, the assembly is in process. Uh, let's go ahead. Oh, here comes our assistant. for you, Mr. Ambassador. Are you ready for your speech? Why, yes. Yes, I am. Ready? Ha! <laughs> I was born ready. Well, actually, I was born a few weeks late. And for some reason, I started coming out butt first, so the doctors had to rotate me and... The speech, sir. The speech? Let's get in there. Yes. Let's head straight there. All right, sir. Show me what you can do. Just watch and learn, little buddy. You might not have been my fan before, but you sure will be after this. Greetings, my fellow ambassadors. It is with great pride and humility that I stand before you today on behalf of the beautiful planet of Earth. All of us on that blue sphere we call home are truly grateful that you have chosen us to join the Galactic Federation. And I am honored to accept my new role as the very first Ambassador of Earth. Now I know many of you are not familiar with our fine planet, but rest assured it has already provided great benefit to the galaxy at large. Why, even the Moonbox coffee you're all slurping on right now had its humble beginnings on the serene streets of Earth. But why tell you when I can just show you? Behold, Earth! Uh oh. Is that it? Earth is Looks missing! Small. Did we really accept this Earth? into the Galactic Federation? Wait, wait, wait. That's not Earth at all. What's going on here? Psst. Didn't you see the ticker, sir? Earth has gone missing! Missing, huh? <laughs> I'm glad we're here and not there. Sir? Oh, uh, <clears throat> what I meant to say was we need to find our beloved Earth. To that end, my bureaucratic brethren, I implore you, lend me a ship so that I may put an end to this grave injustice. First they asked to join the Federation. Now they want a ship? 
Those earth creatures are never satisfied. Order! Order in the assembly! The earthling has put forth a motion. Are there any seconds? <clears throat> motion to grant the earthling a ship. Denied. Denied? But bureaucracy has never failed me before. If nothing else, let me leave the ceremony early so I can go investigate. <sighs> The Earthling has put forth another motion, this time asking to leave. Are there any seconds? One, two, three. Actually, that's everyone. Permission to the part granted. Success! I guess I was wrong about your charm. It seems you've gotten this kicked out in record time. Kicked out? Yo, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I asked to leave. But now's not the time to argue semantics. We need to go find Earth. Next up, the ambassador from Tropical is requesting a license for a glamorous new resort. So, our first day and the Earth is missing. Yes. Do you know what this means? We're out of a job? Wrong you are, my pint-sized pal. We now have the most important job there is, saving Earth. Will that cover my salary, or...? Yo, we can worry about all those boring numbers later. For now, we need a ship. Maybe our nautically inclined friend from before can lend us a claw. What? You mean the guy who didn't believe you were even an ambassador? One and the same. Gee, this whole incident will be one for the history books, huh? Assuming we even find the history books when we get the Earth back, that is. <laughs> anyway, I can tell you won't be able to do this alone. I'm coming with you. But no more jokes about my height, okay? Jokes? I wouldn't dream of it. By the way, do you think the captain would give you a children's discount? <sighs> I hope I don't regret <laughs> this. And now we have our assistant. Yes, yes I am. Now new partner citizen joins the team. Assistant, he can change the encounter rate of battles. Don't party just yet. We now have to charter a ship to Earth. And for our assistant... That's right, he modifies things on a location based only... Oh, oh the, the judge! Work. Excuse me, your judgeliness? Your honor! Oh, no need for formalities with me. You can just call me the Ambassador of Earth. No, you're supposed to address me as your honor! Oh, I'm sorry, my honor. Your honor! Seriously, I'm flattered, but there's no need to stand on ceremony with me. We're all going to jail. Order in the court. I will have order. Speak, Earthling. How do you feel about joining us? We could use the long arm of the law on our side. Fools! Do you think I can be bribed with petty offers of friendship? Oh. Would you prefer something else? The only thing I'm interested in is law, order, and justice. If you could help with advancing the cause of justice, perhaps I could consider your offer. As it happens, we've had a string of robberies throughout the galaxy with no reliable witnesses. If you were to witness a robbery and provide an accurate account of what you saw, we could discuss joining forces. Oh, and one last thing, Earthling. Yes, Your Honor? Get out of my chambers before I hold you in contempt! Ambassadors these days. But we're not in your chambers. I'm on the job. All right. We will keep our eyes peeled. Where to next? So, we are going to head down. Let's go on and turn in our quest with the pizza bot. Oh, nope. Took a right when I should have kept going down. Our race is known as the Neutralians. We are impartial, completely neutral, nonpartisan, unbiased managers and mediators here at the Galactic Federation. Sounds fun? No, it's wonderfully, perfectly boring and mundane. We love it.
but that immediately makes him non-biased. A walking conundrum, these Neutralians. All right. Now let's see. We have the chef recruitment, which won't happen here. We have the pizza bot, which will happen here, but not after, or not until after we make a few more deliveries. Nothing better than getting your robo hands on a batch of fresh dough, you know what I mean, pal? The feel of it between my fingers, my grease mixing with the dough, now that's how you make a good pie. What'll it be, pal? Ready to go deliver a pizza, boss? Yeah, uh, no. I don't think so. I guess it just counted towards us, and then we'll need to do it again uh, to two additional places, I believe. Ah, the time portal. Time cops, so like time. I'm saying, Mr. Ambassador, it was good of you to stop by. Take care now. Yeah. Are you talking to me? Is that a joke, son? We've been talking for the last hour. I was just seeing you out. Did, did that happen? Definitely not, sir. I've been taking notes. Wait, are you sure? Indubitably. Don, I must be remembering our conversation from the future. Back me up on this. You can't remember something that hasn't happened yet, can you? <laughs> the Dimension Police follow the rules of law and order, not cause and effect. Like me. Time Cop! Ooh, you're one of them. I've heard of you guys. Your team has quite a reputation. Thank you. But there is no we in team. Only me, myself, and I. You run this whole department by yourself? Not exactly. Take a look. Are all those you? Whenever I need something done, one of my future selves turns back the clock to do it. Me on the left there is doing some filing. Oh, and me near the back is planning our next mission. It's a marvel of efficiency. You bet your fractured timeline, Junior. Now, seeing as how I just went through all this with you earlier in the future, I don't want to repeat myself in the past. If you need anything, come talk to one of me. Oh, my head hurts. That's odd. I do remember this happening much later in the game. I wonder if this has something to do Violent with what's going on. Much. I'll just do it later. What do you need and when do you need it? You do Wanted crime, posters. You Oh, maybe not. Leave it. Violent paperwork is the. I'll just do it. What to do me. When do you need? Freeze. I did. Are you... Yeah, over on Earth. It was great catching the Chrono Crook together. But that's impossible. The Earth is still missing. Whoops! Spoiler alert. I must be remembering the future. <laughs> All right, maybe it did just happen. Who knows? Violent paperwork. I'll just do it. Le Leave it to me. Are you able to catch criminals before they commit crimes? Are you thinking of precognition? Nah, that was debunked a long time ago. We stick to the tried and true methods of crime solving around here. You know, like time travel. We can't stop a crime before it happens. But we can go back to before it happens and prevent it from happening. Of course, that splits the timeline. But that's above my pay grade. I just track down the criminals. I leave the temporal anomalies to the feds. Oh dear. Are you able to? Are you thinking a pre we stick to? We can't stop. Calls. Okay, they. All right. Yes. I'm on the job. Hello, I am your friendly neighborhood vending machine, installed with pride by Galactico. Galactico, making everyone's galaxy amazing. What would you like today? All right. Nothing as of yet. I'm on the job. Let's leave the time area now we're just about to head back this is where everything compiles for now though i think that's a great start to our second run through of citizens of space and our third episode we'll be going back and forth at what i hope will be natural fits which means probably at least one more episode of citizens in space at least citizens of space but as always let me know what you think down below by commenting, liking up, thumbs down, and we'll be happy to make sure that this game is as enjoyable for you as it is for me. I mean, not really, I'm the one playing it, you're watching, but still a lot of fun. In the meantime, I am Nidinoski, and as wakey always, wakey. I am a wakey wakey, and as always, 
have fun and remember that an ambassador never forgets to save probably should have put that in a bit earlier that's okay again as always have fun <laughs>